I suffer from Tourette's Syndrome. Tourette's Syndrome is basically a neurological nerve condition. When I go out, you know, people looking at you or staring at you is one of the few struggles I face. Of course, growing up with Tourette's Syndrome isn't easy. I was constantly bullied in school. So even the teachers did not understand much about it. During lesson time, sometimes I had to sit outside of the class because the teachers felt I was distracting other students. And during uh, examinations, I was also either put right at the back of the examination hall or outside of the hall to do my exam. Hi. I'm a daddy, a husband, a teacher, and I have Tourette's Syndrome. Ask me anything. Hi, my name is Jeremy. I'm 42 years old, and I'm a special educator. I suffer from Tourette's Syndrome. Tourette's Syndrome is basically a... <laughs> Tourette's Syndrome is basically a neurological nerve condition that affects the basal ganglia, which is a portion of very deep in the center of the brain. And this triggers what we call tics, we have vocal tics, <laughs> which is what you just heard. There are muscle tics, uh, different movements of your face, of your arms, of your legs, and there's muscle spasms. I was officially diagnosed <laughs> with Tourette's Syndrome at the age of nine. So it started out with just simple twitching of the necks, and then it went on to vocal tics, muscle tics, and it got more severe. The movements that I make, it looks quite intense. But there's no pain. Sometimes you just feel a bit tired. You know, if I'm having a day where the ticks are very bad, I just tend to feel a bit tired uh, after a while because there's so much of physical movement. Of course, growing up with Tourette's Syndrome isn't easy. Um, I was constantly bullied in school, made fun of, teased. I used to get into fights all the time with the boys in the school because they did not understand my condition. So, you know, they, say, ah, 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 they, would, <laughs> they would make fun. Uh, and even the teachers in the school, because back then Tourette's was still pretty much unknown. So even the teachers did not understand much about it. So, so ah, ah, ah. there are a few of them who still insisted it was a bad habit. During lesson time, sometimes I had to sit outside of the class because the teachers felt I was distracting other students. And during uh, examinations, I was also either put right at the back of the examination hall or outside of the hall to do my exam. Two of the main concerns that I had while growing up with... <laughs> Two of the main concerns I had while growing up with Tourette's was finding a job and having a family on my own. Eventually along the way, I did get a job but the company could not keep me because of my Tourette. And this happened twice in a row. Eventually, I was very blessed where I found Genesis School which is actually a special school that I, I teach in. It's been something that I've always enjoyed, working with the kids, with the students. Having Tourette's helps me to understand the children that I work with, how with their own special needs, uh, it can be a challenge for them. Along the way, I met my wife, you know, a very wonderful woman. She has learned to actually accept it and uh, adjust her lifestyle towards it. And as years went by, uh, we then had our daughter, uh, Ellie Mae, or Rayan is what I call her. Nowadays, she's also become my bodyguard where she will actually fight for me or she will actually scold people or tell people off if they were to try to make things difficult. There was once my daughter and I, uh, we went to have dinner uh, at a restaurant and at the restaurant, I had my tics. <laughs> I had my tics. And uh, there were these two young men who actually started making fun. So my daughter actually got very upset and she told them off. Uh, quite loudly, actually. She told them off. Then these two boys who were teasing me at first actually came to apologize to me. My name is actually anything only, but my father likes to call me Ray sometimes. Um, I prefer Rayan. Um, Why do you prefer Rayan? Because I just like that nickname more than my other. What do you like most about Daddy? The fact that uh, he smells nice. <laughs> <laughs> Something else. Okay, uh, the fact that uh, he allows me to play with his pet. I sometimes like to just grab his hand and shake to different things. What do you learn from having a daddy like this? Um, I learned that uh, he is very vulnerable to me because that if anyone tries to say anything to me, I just, I just stand up to people who try to bully other people.
Torres doesn't hold me back from doing lots of physical sports activities. I can still play all kinds of sports. You know, I can still exercise. Uh, I can still go running. Uh, so yeah, it actually doesn't hold you back from doing a lot of things. But the hardest part of Torres syndrome is actually dealing <laughs> with <laughs> dealing with <laughs> how people look at you or being concerned about how everyone views you. At the same time, uh, a lot of it is probably you worry about what the future might hold or whether you know there is a future for you after all. One um, goal that I actually hope to be a part of is to create much more, <laughs> ah, ah, much more awareness about Tourette syndrome. Uh, I believe there are many others out there who still um, have a fear of going out or being out in public because they <laughs> because they have Tourette's. You can do and be anything you want. <laughs> you can do and be anything that you want to be. I had my fears of getting a job and having my own family. Years later, I have a job, I have a family. So I believe that um, it's all about looking at yourself beyond the Tourette's.